Asia has been bucking the global trend by maintaining relatively strong, vibrant economies. Growth figures have been comparatively strong in our region. Yet the adverse developments in other parts of the world will inevitably take a toll. Hong Kong's economy expanded by 5.1% in the second quarter of this year, following 7.5% growth in the first quarter. Our unemployment rate is 3.2%, the lowest in over a decade, which reflects full employment. Our GDP growth forecast for this year is 5%, should be attainable. As a small, externally oriented economy, an international financial center, Hong Kong's best protection against the current instability is to keep our own house in order. We must also remain vigilant to the highly volatile market conditions worldwide. The best way to achieve this is to build on our own strengths and shore up our more vulnerable areas. The global financial crisis has revealed certain weaknesses associated with credit rating industry. To enhance supervision of credit rating agencies, we have amended our laws to introduce a new regulatory regime for these agencies operating in Hong Kong. Under the new regime, both corporate credit rating agencies and their individual rating an analysts have to be licensed by our Securities and Futures Commission. They are also subject to a CRA code of conduct. The changes have been, up, have been in place since June. As regards short selling, we already have a robust regulatory regime, including banding naked short selling and the uptick rule. We are working on a new short position reporting regime to be implemented next year. This will assist regulators in monitoring the overall market conditions and help maintain market stability. Hong Kong is implementing the G20 commitments in regulating over-the-counter derivatives market. We are working with our financial regulators to develop a legal framework for implementing the mandatory clearing reporting and trading requirements in Hong Kong. On mandatory clearing, we see the need for greater international coordination to address the challenges related to access and recognition of central counterparties. Otherwise, it will be impossible for some market participants to conduct transactions with an overseas counterparty. This could result in a withdrawal of liquidity from the region and seriously impair the global effort to push and pull forward reforms to the OTC derivatives market. Hong Kong will continue to participate in international discussions through the Financial Stability Board and the international organizations of securities commissions. On banking, we have submitted to our legislature the necessary legislative amendments required to implement the latest Basel Accords in a timely manner. We expect the new regulatory requirements under the Basel 2.5 and Basel 3 to be made to make our banking system more stable and robust, thereby contributing to the competitiveness of financial markets and our economy. For the insurance sector, we have proposed setting up the, an independent insurance authority. We have completed a public consultation exercise and will continue to engage the local insurance industry and other market stakeholders on details of the proposal. We are also working on a proposal to establish a policyholders protection fund as a safety net for policyholders. This will also enhance public confidence in our insurance industry and its competitiveness. We will establish a financial dispute resolution center next year and plans are foot to set up an investor education council to enhance investor protection. I have mentioned some of the things we are doing to address the more vulnerable areas in our own financial system. Maintaining stability is also about building on our strengths and grasping new opportunities. Once again this year, Hong Kong was ranked second globally in World Bank's ease of doing business report after Singapore. We are undertaking a major law reform project to rewrite our company's ordinance. 
This will further streamline and modernize regulations while helping to cut compliance costs and enhance corporate governance. As well as providing business-friendly environment, it is important to seek out new development opportunities. One of Hong Kong's most important roles as China's global financial center is to promote offshore business using mainland currency, the renminbi. Developing Hong Kong as a premier offshore center for renminbi business is explicitly outlined in a national 12-5 year plan, which was adopted by the central government in Beijing earlier this year. We are making good progress. Since the launch of renminbi banking in Hong Kong in 2004, the scope of business and a pool of renminbi liquidity has expanded rapidly. We have embraced the introduction of renminbi bonds since 2007 and renminbi trade settlement since 2009. Banks in Hong Kong can now offer a range of renminbi services to personal and corporate customers. By the end of September this year, total renminbi deposits have reached 622 billion renminbi, or 97 billion US dollars. Also, renminbi trade settlement handled by Hong Kong banks is estimated to exceed 1.5 trillion renminbi this year. Since August, the central government of China has announced and implemented a range of initiatives that will help build Hong Kong's strength as the nation's offshore center for renminbi business. We look forward to playing a full and pivotal role in a gradual liberalization of the mainland currency. Not only will this firm up Hong Kong's financial services sector in times of global uncertainty, it will provide stability and opportunity to the global financial system. Ladies and gentlemen, seeking stability in an unstable world is a collective task an obligation. Thank you for this opportunity to share with you some of the ways Hong Kong is shoring up its financial services sector. We will continue to play out to our strengths and iron out our difficulties and weaknesses. This, I believe, will add a little extra stability, not only to Hong Kong, but also to our partners in the APEC family and around the world, with whom we are ever more deeply connected. Thank you very much.